Hey guys, this is John from Walton's, and I'm here with Pheasants Forever and Chef John Whipfleet, author of the Venison Cookbook, From Slay to Gourmet. We're gonna be going over some fairly easy upland bird recipes that if you can make anything like him, you're gonna impress all your guests. So on this episode, we're gonna concentrate on making pheasant paillard. Now, what is that? Uh, so pheasant paillard is a really, uh, it's just a fancy word for uh, pounding out a boneless piece of meat. So we're gonna take these pheasant breasts and we're gonna pound them a little bit thinner. Uh, and what this does is it basically uh, cooks it a little more evenly so the outside of the meat isn't dry and the inside moist. We're gonna try and pound it thin so you have an even cooking all the way through. Okay. And then we're gonna serve that with a creamy and spicy kale with grilled lemons. Really simple, really easy, and delicious. Grilled lemons, where does that come from? Uh, well, I think it just comes from uh, being outside on a grill with a beer on a cold day and trying to do something a little extra. So you end up putting the lemon on the grill and you get this like nice charred flavor that you can pour over your dish. It just adds another uh, layer of flavor to everything. So we're gonna use roasted ring neck from this. This is one of my favorite seasonings, but what I do tell everybody who's gonna use it a little goes a long way. Now we talked about that before, and you said we don't need to worry about that so much because? Yeah, so we're gonna be using uh, this rub, which has a lot of garlic in it, uh, and the garlic's gonna be mellowed out a little bit by all the cream and all the other flavors we're using. So we are gonna be uh, careful with it. We're not gonna go over the top, but uh, I don't think you have to worry about uh, it as much as if you were doing just a, like a salad or something without as much cream and other flavors going on. So what all goes into a pheasant paillard? So the pheasant itself uh, is really simple. Uh, it's just these two breasts from one bird, and we're gonna pound those out, like I said, and coat them with a little bit of this roasted rig neck rub. And then on the kale side, uh, we have diced onions, diced white onions. We have garlic, we're not gonna use quite all of this. Uh, and then we have some diced jalapeno. I like to use jalapeno, jalapeno in everything, especially things that have uh, cream and lemon in it. It really goes good together. And then we have a pile of kale over there, which it looks like a lot right now, but that's gonna cook down and that's gonna feed about two, maybe three people. Okay. Beyond that, we're gonna go back here and we need to use some uh, grapeseed oil to cook everything in. Why do you like grapeseed oil? Uh, grapeseed oil or avocado oil is a pretty neutral flavored oil. Okay. Um, and it also has a really high smoking point, so you never risk the you never risk burning it. So I use it in a lot of recipes, um, especially when we're doing anything that involves shallow frying back here. Excellent. All right. What's the first step? Uh, let's grab a Ziploc bag, and we're gonna put our two pheasant breasts in here. You could also just use um, a piece of plastic wrap. That'd be fine. Uh, you could also use nothing, but you might get a little meat splatter going on. Okay. Uh, so I like to protect it. It keeps everything a little bit more clean and sanitary. And this is so that we can cook the inside without overcooking the outside. Flattening it out allows us to do that. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we're gonna do. We're gonna cook it really slowly. Not really slowly, but relatively slowly for such a small piece of meat. Um, and then. You know, if we left it whole, you'd be cooking the outside, the exterior, more than the interior. So you'd end up with a little bit drier meat on the outside than the inside. Um, this allows for more even, slow cooking. Okay. Um, so now that we have this in here, it's gonna take our meat pounder. Doesn't take much. It does not. That flattens out very quickly. take them out of there and you can see that they're all, you know, it's really even now. There isn't this big hump over there. And we have two just beautiful uh, flat pheasant breasts. So our next steps here, we are gonna take uh, our onions, our garlic and our jalapeno and we're gonna sweat them down in some grapeseed oil uh, until they're all translucent and soft. We're actually gonna add our pheasant stock, okay. let that cook down a little further uh, and then add our kale, let that cook down, and then we're gonna add cream to that. And then right at the end of that, we're gonna season this with our Walton's uh, pheasant seasoning. And we're gonna sear these on both sides, and then we're gonna bring everything together um, and plate it. Awesome, can't wait, let's do it. Great. 
So the pheasant breasts aren't going to take very long to cook. So we're going to start uh, by making the kale. So we're going to take our onions, our garlic, and our jalapenos and sweat those down in this pot uh, for about five minutes. About two tablespoons in there, one tablespoon. And I'm going to turn the heat up on this a little bit. Right now this is at a low just to get the pot warm. Okay. And we're not trying to get them brown or anything. We're just trying to get them uh, cooked and so they're translucent. Okay. So onions are in the pot. Now we're going to throw some garlic in there. Maybe it's about a half a tablespoon. And then jalapenos are up to you, however much you like. Okay. I like a ton, but I'm sure. not trying to nope, I'm good with heat. offend anyone here. So we'll throw all those in. And then we'll just give it a, a quick stir. And then in a minute here, we're going to put a little salt in here. And that'll help the onions uh, lose a little bit of their moisture. And it'll just flavor the base of uh, the dish, too. Just want it so they're translucent. Yeah, that's right. It really only takes five minutes. Um, just keep an eye on the onions. Make sure you don't burn them. OK. And add a little salt in there, and that's going to help big time, too, to make sure you don't burn anything. Salt is the magic ingredient to so many Every, recipes. Everything. It really is. So we've got these going. What is the next step? So the next step, while well, we're kind of waiting on this, because this will take a couple minutes, Okay. Uh, we are just going to uh, season the one side of our pheasant breast. Just shake a little bit onto this side. And then when we go to cook it, this side will go on the pan first, and then we'll season the other side because it'll be face up then. Okay. Now let's just take a look at these onions. You can see they're kind of starting to turn a little bit lighter in mm -hmm. color. Um, and we are going to be cooking them for quite a bit more with some stock and uh, kale. So I think we're almost ready to add the stock here. Okay. Uh, you can grab a, a ladle of that. And just one ladle? Yeah, let's just start with one ladle and see how, how full it gets. That looks pretty good. Let's do one more. That's great. That's going to be a really flavorful base. It's going to be great. Uh, I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Uh, so now we're just going to try and reduce the stock. Uh, and that's going to add a lot of savor uh, to the final dish. Okay. So uh, it's already a really meaty stock and reducing it more is just going to add a lot of base uh, to the kale. It already smells delicious, so I think we're on the right track for sure. Uh, so while we're waiting on that, we can throw a few lemons on. You can hear those sizzle, that means they're cooking well. So you can see this, it's starting to thicken. It has like a, kind of a medium vis viscosity right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to let that go for another minute or so because the kale is going to it's going to weep a bunch. There's going to okay. be a lot of liquid in the kale too. Uh, so we want to let things reduce before we add them because we're also going to add a cream from over here. Just one more liquid component. So that kale is so big and bulky because it has a lot of water in it. When we put it in there, it's going to expel it. Yeah, ton okay. of water content. Uh, so it's going to shrink down a bunch, but it's also just going to drop a lot of water into our product. So. Okay. Uh, we want to make sure that we don't have a super liquidy base going into the thing. All right, so this is thickened up nicely. Our next step is the kale. Yeah, we're going to throw the kale in. And you can add it kind of in batches if you don't have a huge pot. You can keep stirring this too. Okay. Um, and as you add it, it'll wilt down a little bit. Um, we're going to get as much in there as we can. And then we're just going to put a lid on it for a minute uh, and let it wilt all the way down probably 30 seconds to a minute, uh, open it back up and it should be pretty wilted. Um, and then we're gonna move over here with our tongs. This can get a little tricky because of the steam. Sometimes you get a steam burn if you lift them off with your hands. Uh, but you can see our oh, lemons wow. yeah. are getting that beautiful char on them. Yeah. And those will taste great, uh, just poured over everything when we're ready to eat. So then while this is wilting down, the next thing we're going to do is uh, start cooking our pheasant breasts. Uh, so right now I have this at like a medium heat. Uh, we want it to be a little higher when we put the pheasants in so they don't stick to the pan. Okay. And then we're going to back down the heat so they cook really slowly uh, once they get in there. So uh, as you can see here, I have the pheasant breast pounded out. We're going to put the seasoning side down first and then uh, season the back side when they're in the pan. You can already see how just the salt in that seasoning has already started to draw some of the moisture out of those pheasant breasts. Yeah, it happens really quick. It does. And the, the, the good part about that is this, the salt now going into the 
uh, breasts as well. So you'll get kind of like a quick uh, dry brine on them. So now those are in there. I'm gonna season a little more on each side. And then we're gonna turn this down even lower than where it was, okay? And just let those slowly cook on each side. Um, now that's ready, let's take a look in here. So you can see that's wilted down a little bit. You can give it a stir, okay? And so once this is about half wilted, which it is already, okay, uh, we're gonna add a touch of cream. Okay. And that'll really step up or speed up the wilting process too now that there's more liquid in there. Uh, so now we're gonna take that heat over here and turn that up a little bit to get that process moving. Okay. So up once we add the cream. Yeah, okay. and now this will get the cream uh, reducing a lot more quickly and it'll start uh, getting all the moisture from the kale out of there Pulling too. Pulling it. Um, continue to mix or just let it sit? Yeah, give it a nice mix. Okay. And a lot of people... Pheasant breasts are cooking. It looks like you can see, you know, they're cooked about halfway through already. So we're going to give those a flip. And you can see on a paillard, we don't want a whole lot of color. We just want a very light coloring. Okay. And we're trying to cook these pretty gently to make sure that uh, we don't lose a lot of moisture on them. All right, so now I think, uh, I think you should taste this just for salt. So okay. we're going to taste the the cream. So you're going for cream only right now? Yeah, that'll be a good um, a good sample size to see if you need more salt or not. It's pretty good. That is great. Yeah. I that think, is a great base. Wow. I think we're good on salt and a little lemon will help give that a little brightness. Okay. Um, but that tastes pretty good. It so does. I'm going to turn that off actually. Okay. Do we want to put the pot back or the lid back on or just let it sit? No, we want to let that thing sit and okay. lose as much moisture now as possible. Okay. Um, and over here, you can see our pheasant breasts are almost done. I can still see a little pink here and I'm feeling them and they're still a little soft. Okay. Uh, so we're going to let those go for another two or three minutes or not, just probably another minute before we take them off. Okay. It absolutely smells amazing. That is a delicious sauce. Cannot waste or wait to try it. All right, well, I think we're good to go. You want to plate this up with me? Sure. All right. All right, so we're done. Everything's all cooked up. That took, what, maybe 30 minutes? Yeah, not even. It's a really uh, simple preparation. At the end of the day, we really only have our pheasant breast and a, a pile of kale. Uh, so it's a really easy preparation. Uh, not a ton of ingredients and pretty much anything you can find at a grocery store or wherever. Yeah, and a pot and a pan, and you're pretty much good to go. You don't need a ton of equipment for this. Yeah, uh, it should be light on the dishes. That's, uh, <laughs> that's the other thing we want. That's a great way to look at it. Let's plate it. All right, so we're just gonna take this, uh, we're gonna take some kale first. We're just gonna take a tongs and get some out, and then we're gonna use a ladle to get the sauce out. Okay. So you can see all the nicely diced onions. You can see some of that garlic in there too and some of those peppers, it's really beautiful. And then just come and get some of this sauce. Try and get a little more of that cream, as everyone loves, a little cream. And then you just take your pheasant breasts, plop them right on top. There you go. And then garnish with okay. um, a lemon or two, however many you want, and there's your dish. So you can see I've already got my fork in hand. I am dying to taste <laughs> this. I think the first step, take a little of that lemon, squeeze it over the whole thing, Okay. and then dig into the pheasant, dip it into the cream with a little kale, and you should be good. Do you mind if I do the? I have the honors. I have never used grilled lemon before, so I am very excited. You take over from here. Let's go. Eating is my specialty. <laughs> They've asked me what I do numerous times, and we finally figured it out. All right, so I've got some of the pheasant. I'm trying to get some of the kale on there. I dipped it in the cream. What do you think? Yeah, that's a winner. To get from where we started to that in 30-ish minutes. This is a dish that is going to impress anybody you give it to. I would actually argue, if you talk to somebody who doesn't like pheasant, who doesn't like quail, I imagine you could use this 
and quail as well. Try this. Nobody can dislike this. It is delicious. It's also healthy. I mean, we used good natural ingredients, simple. Anyone can make it, and wow, are you gonna impress some people with this. Thanks, yeah. I'm not gonna stop eating it. It's one of my favorites. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you like it.